Before I do anything else, let me just warn you about a couple of things. The first thing is, you will ne not get out of this event the same person. So if you want to stay the same, if you want to have the same mindset, go to work and think about everything the same, then don't enter this event because it will change you. My best runs on the Sky Run turned out to be my worst, and my worst runs turned out to be my best run. Okay, so there's nothing else race-wise in South Africa that you can compare to the Sky Run. So forget everything you know about racing because it's not a race. It's a personal journey. It's a development. I think the best to explain it is that you will learn more about yourself in the one or two day sky run that you will learn in two years in a normal situation. So three years ago I ran the sky run and I, I had a terrible start, I didn't feel well and I actually didn't progress very well through the field at the beginning. Went over Battle Hall, um, saw it both the organizers and anybody else in the area and after the ballot wall, I got onto this gravel road and I just said, all you do is keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving, which I did. I got to the river and I decided it's a good idea to just lay in the river a bit and just think about life and all things nice before I continue, which I did, which is not normal in the race. You're going to do a whole lot of things in Skyrim that's not normal. And coming back, you'll do even weirder things. Okay. Um, I lay there in the river and thinking, if I do anything today, I will finish this race. That's my only goal got up out of the river and because I had that mindset of just me against the mountain, I made it up bridle pass, I made up some good positions, and in the end I managed to finish in a podium position. Last year, I went in with this racing mindset and did fairly well at the beginning, ran with the front guys, were all excited, and then I tried to get up out of all twice and I, and I wasn't successful on either of those two times. Okay, so it doesn't mean I'm a worse athlete. I didn't finish last year's sky run. Um, so that puts it a little bit in perspective. The difference was my mindset is this is a race and I need to get, need to get over this mountain as quick as possible and I was taught very valuable lessons by Skyrun and the mountain, the Wittebach Mountains last year that this is not a race, it's you against the mountain, you've got to be in the right mindset. Train the rain specific. You use different, mount, you use different muscles going steep up and down on the mountain then you're going to run on the road. Even if you think you're climbing hills on the road it's not quite the same hills, so training specific. Get a GPS, get a track of a local trail or something in the area, and just get used to running with the GPS. Because the first thing that's going to happen if you're not used to running with the GPS, uh, you're going to start kicking the rocks because it's not a proper trail, and you're going to fall the whole time. You're going to maybe risk injuring yourself, or you're just going to get frustrated. So just get used to running at hip, like hip level and just looking down every now and again to make sure you're still on the right track. Don't skim from gear. If you want to get into trouble, skim from gear. But the reality is it's such a long way that that, that that little bit of extra weight versus the confidence it gives you when you start seeing those clouds coming in, it does not outweigh that. So if you start, if you start seeing, uh, for me, I love bad weather races because it just allows me to compete with real runners like Graham and Megan purely because then it becomes a mind cap. And the biggest mind game is when the weather starts coming in, do I have the right gear? Have a proper rain jacket and have waterproof gloves. Are you going to carry gloves and it's not waterproof? It's no use. So that would be the two most important items in terms of gear. Warm gloves, woolly gloves means nothing when it gets wet. So you want to keep yourself dry. The biggest risk on a mountain is exposure. Exposure to cold and exposure to wet. You can handle cold if you're dry. If you wet and it's cold with a wind chill, you're going to get into trouble. You might be sitting here tonight thinking, am I going to do the event or not? Um, and guys like Mike and Safi uh, will, will appreciate this one. Another sport we do is called adventure racing. And as I walked up here, I got an SMS from Nicholas Mulder saying, hey, Reina, what are you doing next week? Which means if I answer that SMS, I'm probably going to end up racing Expedition Africa next week. And that could be a turning point because I know that's going to change a whole lot of things. I hope it's not that. But you might be sitting there now thinking, am I going to do this event or not? Please do me a favor and do it. Purely because you will never be the same again. There's a lot of good events out there. And I'm not saying one's better than the other one. But one thing I can say here is that I personally, and I have quite a bit of experience in the mountains, did not finish this race last year. And I probably learned more, even if it's just an ego and humbleness, but a lot of other things when I didn't finish the race. And that changed a whole lot of things for how I look at things. So, in a nutshell, 
give yourself that opportunity to just live, live life to the full in a controlled environment. Well, not a controlled, but in an opportunity where people are there to assist as far as possible and prepare as well as possible. Have the right gear, train in the right environment and make sure you're comfortable with navigation.